Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool waterless exfoliant stick. Let me show you how it's put together. So this is the product we're gonna be making today. As you can see, it's got a beautiful stick structure to it. And in terms of application, it applies really easily and then foams and exfoliates easily as well. Now before I get started, I just want to nip a few questions in the bud because when it comes to making waterless products, I get loads of questions about input percentages, changing ingredients, or changing the formulation completely. Just remember that if you want a really good stick structure that applies as easily as you've just seen, there is a very certain percentage of waxes and lipids and even the foaming ingredients we need to use as well as the forms of the materials are incredibly important. Now we have a whole workshop series on how to create bar and waterless products. And the most important part of those workshops is getting those components just right. Which means you don't have a lot of wiggle room to increase the wax content dramatically or alter the oil content dramatically either, but you can certainly change the different types of waxes we use as long as they have the same performance and function. You can change the type of surfactant I use as long as it's still in powder form. And your oil input needs to remain about the same, but again, you can change it for all sorts of esters or oils in place of what I'm using here. So you can contact us for the free formula, but just remember the waxy inputs need to remain about where they are. And the oil inputs, even if you wanna change them, also need to remain really steady. And of course you need to use a powdered form of a surfactant, otherwise the product just won't form into the required stick type product. So let me show you how it's put together. And of course, just contact us for the full free formula or access our bar workshops for further information about those percentage inputs. So I have my oil phase measured here. I'm using caprylic capric triglyceride as my main component of the oil phase, just so the product's nice and light, nice and stable and relatively cost effective to produce. To this, I'm adding some Amulium Dulcia. Now this, of course, has the waxy rigidity we need. It's also got emulsifiers present, which are really important for the cleansing performance of this product. I'm also adding some Actisire MB, also by Gattafosse. And these two materials help me build the rigidity to the stick, but also mean that it's really easy to apply as well. Remember, these are key components that are really important. Even if you change them for other ingredients, it's the input of the waxes and the performance of the waxes that is absolutely crucial to make sure you get the performance and the stick structure required. Now I'm just going to heat and melt these together. Next, I'm going to add my surfactant. I'm using Amylite GCS11 by Ajinomoto. This is a sodium cocal glycinate. It's a very mild, but still high performing surfactant cleansing agent. If you wanted to use a different surfactant, just make sure it's in a powder or flake form. In other words, a solid form. It can't be in a liquid form. It just won't work with the formula. I'm also going to add a glycerin based extract as well as some glycerin, and this also helps with mildness and keeps that foam nice and dense. Now once that's all combined nicely, I can remove it from the heat. And I can add my exfoliant. In this case, I'm using apricot shell grit. It's a 3560 grit size. And I'm just going to allow this to cool just above its setting point. 
And then I'm going to add some essential oil and antioxidant. Now it's really important when you're manufacturing this product, especially in larger batches, that you are able to keep it just above its setting point, but also keep it mixing. When you pour it off into its finished packaging, just above its setting point, it will hold that grit really homogenous. As you can see here, that grit is held really evenly throughout the stick. If you pour it off when it's too hot, that grit could settle to the bottom. And of course you can't pour it off when it's too cold, otherwise you won't get a nice looking stick. So just make sure you have the appropriate filling equipment to maintain the heat just above its setting point and of course keep it stirring while you pack off the finished product. And when it's at that idle temperature, just pour it off. Allow it to set and by the next day, you'll have your exfoliant stick. So just remember those oil, wax, emulsifier and surfactant proportions are really important. Otherwise your product just won't set or perform the way you need it to. Remember too that you'll need to have special filling equipment that can help maintain that temperature, usually around between 55 to 60 degrees while pouring it off and also stirring it constantly. And then that way when it's poured off, it will set really homogeneously with your exfoliant material throughout the entire stick. Just remember you can contact us with a full free formula and method and we have our waterless bar workshops to help guide you with all your waterless bar needs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.